clinical applications in computed tomography or CT scan. Welcome back to Early 7 channel. This is Rodal Agapito, a radiologic technologist, who will be discussing the clinical applications in computed tomography. Before we proceed to this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, share to your friends, and subscribe to Early 7 YouTube channel for more Radclusive videos. What is cranial computed tomography, or what we call as head or brain CT scan? A cranial CT scan is a radiographic examination of the cranium displayed as thin slices, cross-sectional, grayscale tomographic images. This procedure is non-invasive, meaning it doesn't require surgery. It's usually suggested to investigate various symptoms involving the nervous system before turning to invasive procedures. What are the contraindications for cranial CT scan? Possible contraindications for using intravenous contrast agents during computed tomography include the following. 1. Pregnancy. 2. Hypersensitivity to contrast medium. 3. High level of creatinine. And 4. Patient taking supplement or maintenance for diabetes as metformin or glucophage. What are the indications or purposes of head or brain CT scan? The images created by a cranial CT scan are far more detailed than regular X-rays. They can help diagnose a range of conditions, including suspected brain neoplasm or masses, brain metastasis, intracranial hemorrhage, aneurysm, abscess, brain atrophy, post-traumatic abnormalities and acquired or congenital abnormalities. A brain tumor is an abnormal growth of tissue in the brain. Unlike other tumors, brain tumors spread by local extension and rarely metastasize or spread outside the brain. A benign brain tumor is composed of non-cancerous cells and does not metastasize beyond the part of the brain where it originates. A brain tumor is considered malignant if it contains cancer cells, or if it is composed of harmful cells located in an area where it suppresses one or more vital functions. An intracranial hemorrhage, on the other hand, is the pathological accumulation of blood within the cranial vault, may occur within brain parenchyma or the surrounding meningeal spaces. Intracranial bleeding occurs when a blood vessel within the skull is ruptured or leaks. It can result from physical trauma or non-traumatic causes as occurs in hemorrhagic stroke, such as a ruptured aneurysm. Brain atrophy, more properly known as cerebral atrophy, is a condition in which cells in the brain are lost, or the connections between them are damaged. Symptoms of cerebral atrophy include dementia, seizures, loss of motor control, and difficulty with speaking, comprehension, or reading. Atrophy refers to a decreased size or wasting away of any part of the body. Cerebral infarction is the ischemic kind of stroke due to a disturbance in the blood vessels supplying blood to the brain. A cerebral infarction occurs when a blood vessel that supplies a part of the brain becomes blocked or leakage occurs outside the vessel walls. The following symptoms may be experienced before a cerebral aneurysm ruptures. Very severe headache that occurs suddenly, nausea, vomiting, eyesight problems, seizures, loss of consciousness, confusion, a drooping eyelid, stiff neck, and light sensitivity. Protocol for cranial CT scan. The patient position should be in supine position, then, head first. The reference point must be the nasion, and centered it for both mid-sagittal and transverse plane. Possible side effects or risks. Side effects and risks for a cranial CT can involve discomfort, exposure to radiation, and allergic reaction to the contrast media. Discuss any concerns with your doctor before the test so you can assess the potential risks and benefits for your medical condition. That concludes our video for the clinical applications of cranial CT scan. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share to your friends, and subscribe to Early7 YouTube channel for more Radclusive videos.